What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Z Baby with another video. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Um, I forgot all about Vlogmas, you guys. I've been so busy with my own personal life. So, I'm about to get ready to go out to this little shindig, whatever, like this little, it's like a little club or whatever. I'm extremely tired. I shouldn't be going anywhere but this bed, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and I was like I don't have any footage for vlogmas so I was like why not but if you're new here my name is Z baby on this channel we do hauls vlogs story times and I forgot what else I put on my profile at this point I have to edit that but anyway um, I'm extremely tired but I might just go ahead and get ready because I promised my friend that I would be there at a certain time. So right now I just freshly got out of the shower. So I am about to put on some clothes. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair. So if you're interested in watching, keep watching the video and let's go. Okay, you guys, so I'm ready. I did my hair. Nothing really simple with the outfit. Just got a shirt from Fashion Nova and these jeans that I'm really not proud of showing you guys. So I'm about to call my lift and get in the car because it's time to go. I think I'm gonna maybe running a little late, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, you guys, I love the hair that I just like got done. This hair is like amazing. It's kinky straight hair. Oh my God, it's just so thick and it blends in with my hair so perfect. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna see you guys like in the core. Cause yeah, but yeah, I just finished doing my hair. I put my makeup on cause you know, a girl be having bags. So yeah, I'm about to put on my shoes and get out of here. Cause it be hurting your legs. Like that's just a lot. Make sure, um, what a lot of people don't know is driving makes your knees weak. It, it, it does, right? Yeah, because I'm always driving and I bought me a new car. Okay. And um, I'm glad I bought me a new car because when I had my old car, I had a Kia Rio. I had a 2015. It was low to the ground, but like with small cars, what a lot of people don't know is because it's small, if somebody gets in your car, yeah. your leg is on a strain because the car is small, so you're pulling that person's weight and the car. Yeah. So I was like, I can't do this shit no more. So I got a bigger car, and now when people get in, it's not so much strain on my leg. Like, right. So what, what's your car now? That little putt putt, but mm -hmm. they expanded it, so it kind of looks like an Ultima, but it's not. Okay. So you drive a lot this because of your work? Yeah, just... I do. So my other job is at a Riderwood Village, and then I work at a restaurant in D.C. But like when you're in a bigger vehicle, it's like less strain if someone gets in. But if you have a small car... Yeah. Even if you have some water in the back, groceries, it's still, you can feel the weight. Yeah. And my Kia Rio was like very tiny, mm. but it was good on gas. Like to fill up yeah. was like 15, $10. Yeah. 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 And insurance was very cheap. Mm. So that's the only good thing about small car. The insurance is cheap. You don't have to yeah. worry. So yeah. Yeah, especially with the price of gas right now. Well, gas actually went down. I'm very happy about that. Some places did, some places still, the, like in DC, it's still the same. Mm, yeah. Like, like in Alexandria, some places it's kind of cheap. Woodbridge is very cheap. Yeah. Woodbridge is always gonna be cheap, it's far. Nobody yeah. going out Woodbridge. So to fill my car, like when gas was up, it was like 35, but now that gas has went down, it's like 25, so I'll save like 10. Mm-hmm, for the Versa. I 
always recommend anyone <laughs> get a smaller the smaller the engine, the less gas yeah. you have to spend. And that usually holds me for like um, ten days. Ten days. Mm -hmm. No way. Yes. Wow. Because like a lot of people don't know, like when you just go to work and go home mm. and don't visit nobody, mm. you got a lot more gas. Yeah. When you go visit people, uh -huh. and then you're gonna have less gas. Yeah. yeah. If you just stick to that routine, go to work, go home. That's what it is. Like, like yeah, it really does like two hundred fifty dollars for five miles. And that's very stop, press. Yeah, you don't stop other cars and you just stop me, my car right? And, yeah. and you were minding your business, not bothering the soul. No, no, I was just. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You weren't yeah. bothering anybody. That's how it is. Like, you don't be bothering no one. You're not doing anything to anybody, and then they come and bother I mean, you. It's a long drive. I was moving from Jackson to Atlanta. Probably exhausted mm -hmm. and tired. They be trying to get your money at this point. Like that's what they do. If they can't get you in tickets, some of them are like nice and they like just give give you a warning and it was like don't do it again, blah blah. Right. But some of them you just know in your face that this guy is not let you go. I just caught a ticket in the mail, it's forty dollars and I think I have two more because I was speeding and I was like, damn, I should have been slowing myself down. You had forty dollars? Forty dollar ticket from Maryland and I think I have another ticket coming. Forty dollars nothing. I came Yeah, forty dollars is nothing, but I have I think I have two more tickets that are like a hundred apiece. You know, I have one ticket for five hundred that I just paid last week. Oh my Jesus Christ, why? Yeah, I have no idea because uh, that was from when I first came to, to Virginia. Mm -hmm. So in Florida, we don't have like so many speeding tickets. In spite of being so careful, I don't know where I did go, how, what happened. Mm -hmm. And it was 500, so. Oh I my like God. I think. 500 for what? How did you get a $500 ticket? Yeah, that's so crazy, right? So yeah. I did the online, I, I write an explanation or whatever. Mm -hmm. But. After a few months, they send me back that no, you have to pay this. Yep, tomorrow. that's how they do. They they let you put it in the mail and say explanation, mm. and then mm. they'll say, okay, you have to pay now. Yeah, that's what they did to me. So I had to pay the five hundred. Oh hell no! Just for one ticket, yeah. No, that's too much. Mm -hmm. That's too much. And but what's the option? Well, if you don't pay, they say like they will make it double. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be a thousand dollars and Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's how that, that's how it is. Double the ticket, thousand dollars, Merry Christmas. I'll tell you that in a minute. Yep. That's how they make their money. Yeah. They're not looking for you to save it. It's a scam. They don't care about you. If no, you're they actually don't. Gonna care about people. You see how many homeless people in mm -hmm. this winter sleeping on the right. Road. They don't care. Just go help them. You know, you right. don't help. You don't care about people. Mm -mm, they don't care about anybody. I know. I say that all the time. Same thing with my yeah, student loans. Somebody making like uh, five hundred in two three days, and you just uh, charge him one ticket, and like here we go. Mm hmm. That's how I felt about the student loan forgiveness program. I was about to sign up and the mm. lady was like, oh yeah, the student loan application will be open, you know, at this time. And mm. um, I tried to apply and they said, oh, the application's not open. And then they were supposed to keep the application process open until like mm. um, November. And when I went to apply at the end of October, they were like, oh, all application process is closed. Mm. I'm like, you guys don't want to help anybody. Stop putting that shit. You guys don't want to help nobody. It's tax. Yeah. It's give. Let 
the working class work into oblivion and nobody's gonna get any money. That's the way it is. No one's stupid. I'm not dumb. Like, you guys don't want to help. And then y'all issue out all these stupid degrees for no reason. Like, my associate's degree is $60,000 for a liberal arts degree. Now, I was smart enough when I was in school to pursue a public health degree, which was okay because the job that I have now is in healthcare, but it's at the bottom of the totem pole. I work in food. So, you know, if I want to do more, I have to go back. But my job will pay you to go back. So that's the only good thing. But other than that, nah, school, no. Nah, me, more so now that I'm getting older, is more like business. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I want. I don't want to do nothing else. All right, so I just uh, rendered um, my song. Um, I arrived at my destination, guys, so I'm gonna come in there and bring you guys with me. It's loud as shit. At this point, I'm drunk, but please don't judge a girl. Oh, oh, Anybody out there? Who like Mr. Grinch? I love Mr. Grinch. I'm taking Christmas away. Um, actually, ma'am, excuse me. Is that do you have any tequila? Okay. Can I get um? How much will it be for Don Julio? Just give me the one that say with the C, Carmano, whatever. I need tequila because, like, I got a headache and I need tequila. Period. Tequila needs to happen for me. I, you don't have to make the headache. Just give me a shot of tequila and be good. This is um bloopers. <laughs> behind the scenes bitch. There's a guy with a white eye behind you. I have no idea who this guy is. I am not sure. I am not sure. I don't play with your girl. Support your girl. Like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you understand me? I will keep making my videos until it happens. Okay? That's what I need to do. Right now, it's late night hours, after hours, hours. You're playing some bullshit after me. So at this point, I'm just at the lounge, kind of bored. There's nothing going on because I only came there to get something to eat. And that's pretty much what y'all looking at. Okay, you guys, so I'm back at the house. Super lit right now, but I hope you guys are having a good Christmas. Vlogmas, it is what it is. I can't be consistent as much as I want to, but I want to let you guys know that if you're watching my videos, I truly appreciate y'all. Even if it's two or three views, your girl is super busy and y'all see what I do on them shorts. So y'all better love me on these other videos. But yeah, I'm about to make something to eat right quick because I'm really hungry. <laughs> I arrived home or whatever and I've had a really, really, really long day. Um, I had to work and then I had a long night and vlogmas. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do a whole bunch of vlogmas like I did last year, but I'm gonna try to do my best, you know. And that's pretty much it. Like my life has changed in so many ways. You guys just don't know. My life is a lot 
moving forward in my life and there's a lot of things that you guys I don't see that I don't film because sometimes I just put the camera down and I freeze and I don't know what to say sometimes but um, I'm grateful for everybody that has watched my videos even though you know my views aren't the best as they used to be but you know I'm going to continue to keep making my videos because I truly love making YouTube videos. That is something that I don't ever think I'm going to lose the passion for, but um, it is what it is, you know? And I know this vlog was really, really, like, boring, but I will have more to show you guys, and that's pretty much it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.